Injustice 2 released in 2017 runs on Unreal Engine 3, and these are the minimum system requirements of this game. So today, we're going to see how much performance we can squeeze out of the game with some simple graphical tweaks. Let's get started. First, I'll be running the game using my integrated graphics. First, I've set the screen resolution to 720p, enabled dynamic resolution, and turned on frame skip to boost performance. Be sure to adjust these settings as well. Under the advanced settings, everything is set to the lowest preset. I've also set the particle effects to use the CPU because I'm playing on integrated graphics, but my CPU is stronger, so I'm relying on it for that extra push. Now let's jump into the game and see how it performs with these settings. The game is playable, but of course we're always looking for better performance. So let's quit and see what more we can do to improve things. You'll find the configuration file for the game in the hidden app data folder. Under Local, and then in Justice 2, open the User Settings file with Notepad. The first thing we'll adjust is the screen resolution. The game only allows you to go as low as 1024 by 768. And be sure to set the same values here. You won't be able to go lower, and trying to change these values won't have any effect. So, that's all we can do in this file, so save it. And don't forget to set it as read-only. There's one more thing we can tweak. As you might know, the game's cutscenes are capped at 30 FPS. But you can lift this cap with the help of two files linked in the description. Just download the files, then paste them into your game directory under the binaries folder, and then into retail. And now let's see how the game performs. You should definitely see some improvement in FPS. However, it's worth mentioning that although Injustice 2 runs on Unreal Engine 3, it doesn't have as many advanced tweaks available as some other Unreal Engine 3 games. I'm not sure why the developers chose to limit these options. However, if you're looking to lower the screen resolution even further, you can try changing your display resolution directly or using custom resolution tools. I've linked everything you need in the video description. So guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your fellow low-spec gamers so they can also enjoy playing Injustice 2 on their own lower-end systems. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Until then, take care and bye.